Hi everyone and welcome to Canadian Redneck Channel. My name's Dave. Uh, apparently I didn't get sound recorded when I recorded this clip, but we are going to be doing an ammo test on Hornaday Precision Hunter, uh, 143 grain. Uh, going to be shooting at 100 yards, uh, going to do a group test at 100 yards and at 500 yards and shoot in the ballistics gel at 100 yards and 500 yards also to see how it performs. Uh, so hang around and see how we make out. We're going to start with our um, target set at 100 yards and see what kind of a group we can get out of it. Got my target here at 100 yards. Got a little X on the box there for an aiming point. And so we'll check our 100 yard group and uh, check where our zero's at. That's far from stellar, it's about two inches high and an inch or three quarters of an inch wide. Um, we do have a pretty stout headwind today. That may have to do it. I felt like I was, you know, pretty consistent with my aim. Uh, anyway, I guess we'll see how we make out uh, getting it on a plate at 500. So. Looks like that's roughly the center of the group. So we are, I'd say we're a solid inch high and inch right. So we'll adjust from there and uh, see if we can get on plate at uh, 500 yards. So I've got a 500 yard target set up. It is down there. And I'm gonna set this up, see if I can't catch some trace. I'm hoping to be able to catch some trace when I fire on this camera. We'll see what happens. Okay, that's a five shot group on the plate, so now we're going to try for the ballistics gel. Well, I definitely saw a water fly. So I think we'll go down and check it out. I managed to record another clip without any audio. Um, you can see I got seven hits on the target. I believe the one closest to the bullseye was the first one with my reloaded ammo. Uh, so that made for a fairly wide grouping, but you saw the wind that I was in, that probably had some effect on it. But realistically, if you back that up to around 350, 400 yards, uh, that would be, you know, a kill size group on a deer. Uh, and that's what this is, is deer ammo. So anyway, we'll move on next to the ballistics gel. Here you can see where the bullet entered the ballistics gel. It was a full pass through, came out the back. It went through the first jug of water and uh, 
through the second and actually hit the third and bounced off. A little searching around on the road bank and I was able to manage to find the bullet. You can see it mushroomed out really well, uh, held together nicely. It probably doubled its size or even more and uh, was quite effective. I've cut the gel block in half so there's twice as much length to go through and hopefully we'll be able to catch a bullet with that. And uh, it's set up now at 100 yards so I'll go back up and take a shot. Same thing on the other side of the moon track. Wow, that's in there two and a half inches. That is the first hit at 500 yards, and this is the hit at 100. And no damage on the water bottles, so that bullet is in there. Okay, a lot of this is from the first shot because it's got the exit wound there. So even at 500 yards it was it was opening up causing a lot of damage that would that would definitely leave a blood trail on a deer. I don't know if you can see that or not. But that is, it went down through the bottom of the table. That's all that's left of the bullet. Uh, there's no uh, lead left in it that is just a chunk of the jacket and it certainly opened up and uh, it certainly made a wound in that that would certainly be an effective bullet well that concludes our ammo test of the uh, Hornaday Precision Hunter 143 grain ELDX uh, you can buy the ELDX bullets to reload and actually I am using some of them in a reload uh, in a load that I worked up from my rifle. Uh, they held together really well at long range and had good penetration, made a good wound cavity. Uh, they didn't hold up so close so well at close range. Um, they certainly made an effective wound cavity and I expect it would do a good job on deer and like sized animals. Um, for closer range you might want something to hold together a little bit better. I really don't know. I guess I may get a chance to find out this fall. We'll see. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it interesting and informative, or at least entertaining. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, and as always, have a great day.